Hey everyone, welcome back to Tony Hawk's Underground. I'm Insetic. With me on this is Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. And Canuck Dude. Hey. All right, in this video, we're headed to Russia. We're a pro now, and we're heading to Russia to uh, skate there. Mother Russia, home of borscht, potatoes, and the world's biggest skate demo ever. All the press will be here looking for this year's best new pro. Now, the demo doesn't start for a few days, okay? So stay the hell out of trouble. That's what I was trying to remember. It's like the biggest skate demo ever, but it's like, I don't... Is that based on anything real? I don't think so. I mean, they've done such a great job with, like, Tampa Am, Slam City Jam, but yeah, I can't remember anything being in Russia, but, uh... I can't either, no. Yeah, you guys remember in that one part when I, like, changed up my character's looks quite a bit? Um, unfortunately, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, and also the game, yeah, spawns you with this coat jacket, but... Yeah, whatever, I remember yeah. that. I've changed up my guy's looks, I've given him, like, the electric wizard hat. Yeah. I mean... It's, you know, not as noticeable as all the green stuff, but hopefully there are some funny moments of... Because, like, instead of making his face real thin and tall, I made it real, you know, flat and wide. For when I was looking at the uh, profile, you know, like the, the the shadow profile, you know, I was really worried you put him in a clown outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Just from the hat oh. and the bulky coat. I was like, man, did you put him in a... Is there That'd a clown be outfit too in much, this game? man. Did you put him in a clown outfit. At at some point, I was like, huh, you know what? Let me test the clown stuff again. And I put those shoes on. And I'm like, those are too big. Those are so <laughs> big they frustrate me. I get oh, get those man. off. Get those clown shoes off. I, but I will say, Russia has some nice combo lines in it. Like if you want to grind forever, Russia's a good map for that. Yeah, Russia is a pretty technical level i i don't want to say complicated but pretty technical and actually if you look up yeah like the gap list you'll see some things where you're like well I, really that's how you do that and especially like getting to the secret tape that's mm -hmm. yes that's something where you really need to find a an interesting line yeah um, also here i'm trying to fill out my final pro stats so we'll spend a bit of time doing that a bit of time seeing some special tricks, a bit of time seeing some creative tricks, and like I mentioned last time, in this one, this time, aside from the aesthetic, of course, all the creative tricks are viewer submitted. Yay! The other seven are all your guys. So, and uh, are yeah. they going to be in the description again, or do you actually remember who's Yeah, they'll be in the way? description. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I also... I did a Russian boneless in Russia. I mean, there's only one time in the series I'll be able to do that, so I took the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Are there no other levels in Russia in the entire series? Damn. I don't That's think so. That's a crazy I mean, thought. I mean, Thug 2, you don't go to Russia, and then no, American Wasteland, no. Project 8, Proving Ground are all in the U.S. You're right. Damn. Yeah. Cool. I mean, you don't really think about skateboarding in Russia, you know? Well, granted, I don't think about skateboarding in... Uh, some of the places that are in, um, like, Pony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 as well. R right, like right. I don't think about skateboarding in Tokyo, either. Or I guess Rio. I could see that more than Russia, maybe. Or, uh, what's that one? The Rio... Rio? Rio yeah. Ruckus? Yeah, Rio. Well, these are some cool-looking moves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, it's a nice collection of, like, single animation and ones where you can hold and even one where you can grab. Uh, Ooh, a Japan 900. People didn't really send me that many that you could hold. Uh, but I did get one. Oh, it makes, uh, <laughs> There's it the makes the toilet flush now, yeah. or did it always do that? No, I added that for this okay. one. But yeah, like this this trick sent in here, yeah, you can hold that. And this Oblivion Spin, I gotta call this out specifically. Or I mentioned it, call out sounds like a bad thing, but that that's an awesome move. Yeah. Uh, the Oblivion Spin looks really cool. Look, I yeah. didn't say that, acknowledge that. Um, but yeah, so what were we okay. A couple other things. Well, since I'm a since I'm a pro now, I'm above the laws of gravity and whatever. So yeah, Whoa. I put on like some special tricks. I put on the more crazy special tricks. You know, like the flips looked pretty normal, but you'll see like the grinds and manuals. I intentionally went with the the wackier ones. Uh, I mean, because I've also got the wacky <laughs> outfit, but yeah, I the like skull that. grind. You that, pull that your skull. Your, that fits yeah. your wizard persona very well. Yeah. Yeah. The levitate grind. Oh, Look also at that. fits it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
What else do Just I have? Just in case anyone doubted your wizard oh, yeah. powers. The elbow smash. Oh, the Mike. Is that the one that was Mike Vallier? <gasps> oh. Yeah, Mike V. He's back. Yeah, the, the head one that isn't terrifying. Nice. Right. Because, yeah, your arms aren't breaking and trying to move. But, yeah, all the ones where it's like, okay, this literally breaks v. the laws of physics. Another Mike you know V what? trick. You know what? Debate me. The downfall of the Tony Hawk series started with the elbow smash. Debate me, because uh, well, how? that was in Tony Hawk 4, and that was really the first time where it's just like, okay, you're not even grinding. You're literally just doing elbow drops over and over while traveling forward on a rail. <laughs> I'm not actually that mad. I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. Uh... We meet Kalo as well, where a surprising number of challenges will be like, Oh, you know Kalo? Or like, hey, it's me, Kalo, again. So Can we meet CeeLo Green, though? Uh, yeah. yeah. For uh, meeting um, Kalo. Oh. I mean, he's wearing green. Yeah. Right. Kalo he, uh, Green. Yeah, he masqueraded as CeeLo Green. But <laughs> yeah, so from the real-life spots that they pulled from, I mean, it's not like they could pull a lot of skating spots, so they went with the main landmarks of Moscow and Russia. You know, the Russia. the main cool. palace, yeah. the Point we'll Basil, Lenin's tomb. Hang on, someone's knocking at my door. I'll be right back. You you it kind of put them together. But yeah. I've dicked around a whole lot, so let's let's finally get into the action here. What is Tony Hawk doing here in Russia? I mean, all the pros are here. It's the largest skateboarding competition. Wow. How much money do you think they paid for, their, for all these guys to come out to Russia? I mean, I don't know. They I don't know the conversion of rubles to dollars or the conversion of how much money is a large amount of money for skateboard. How much you money know? does Tony Hawk cost? Yeah, I'm, if I'm I wanted to fly, 20. if I wanted to fly Tony Hawk out and have him, you know, shred my backyard pool a in a pool party, and I'm a rich person. How much money would I offer? I think I think he'd be worth worth at least twenty dollars. Yeah, the yeah. I, yeah, twenty bucks. I would say that is an irrefutable statement there. Yeah, just like you know how like uh, you are at least uh, one foot tall. Right. Right. You no, know, the power of irrefutable statements. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we yeah. just grinded a tank. Yeah, I mean, it happens. They, ch they dare. They challenged us to do it. Four hundred whole rubles. Yeah. Like a ninja. Thanks, Todd Howard. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, actually, you might have seen. I pointed out earlier. Part of the level's been locked off to us at the start. You only have that opening area, and then you can actually go over to the big tomb. Uh. I just didn't. But finishing up this part will open, yeah, open the gate and let you get into this. Uh, uh, Operation uh, D's uh, what? D's nuts! Now get oh! Get all down. Oh! Oh my oh! God! We got served. <laughs> Holy that shit! That was like, oh my God! Like, you know, D's nuts kind of made a comeback recently, but like this was 2003. This was either prime. Time or maybe even early, you know? Yeah. You just got like, demoted back to amateur. Yeah. That's why Todd's the manager. Yeah. Yeah. That ladder and ring those bells. Easy. Easy peasy. The guards will run out and open the gates. Yeah, it's a long shot. Oh, yeah. Don't get shot. Bam really earned his paycheck on that one. I mean, honestly, I think that's actually is a pretty good line delivery because, you know, you end two sentences in a row with shot. So it'd be way too easy to not realize that or not inflect it. But, you know, Bam kind of realized that. And so he changed up how he inflected it at the yeah, end. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, how many times have you heard where it's like, it'll be a long shot. Oh, and do not get shot. Like, but yeah, that's we open true. the gate. Mm, tanks. Oh, tank. Look at these tanks. Damn, look at these tanks. What's up? Aren't you stoked by getting Best New Pro? Well, it's not a done deal yet. It's pretty close between me and Eric. Sup, guys? Listen, I've been thinking, we can't keep this up. Remember how I used to torch action figures with you? I, I acted like a dork, I'm sorry, I got carried away. 
Aw, I'm touched. Really? <sighs> now get out in front of those cameras and earn your keep. It's so good. We can't go skating right now. Look at these tanks. Damn. Yeah, well, uh, I guess we've made it back up with Eric. Again. Oh, We're best friends again. Yeah, yeah, he's here. And apologized, kinda. And that's all it takes. We're he friends put him with him there. now. <laughs> yeah. You know what they um, say, though. Time to skate, comrade. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Time to show those Ruskies what you can do. So, yeah. Allegedly. Now the entire level is open to us. We can go through the gate and check out the area in there. There's a few more buildings and, you know, a few more starts to some really long lines. Especially, this, again, to get up to, like, the secret tape. Is this the only level where they lock half the level off from you? Uh, I guess in Tampa, the, you know, the Tampa Am isn't available until you get to that point. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's just the outside area at first, but I think this is the biggest um, place where Level, that happens. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, because this is like near the end of the game, so we're getting yeah. to like grand finale now. This is the last level you get like in the story mode, right? Right, yeah, yeah. this is the last new level. Mm -hmm. So. You're just hopping around, hopping around. Too. Yeah, yeah, kind of sur surveying. It's such a big, I don't know, scenic view, like... I remember there's some missions I don't like here, but you know, looking back at this, th this level's better than I remember it being. Yeah, I think, like, structurally, the level is fine. I think what I didn't like is I just didn't like the environment, I guess? It seemed very... Russian? No, not Russian, just, uh, I didn't like the colors that much. Yeah, it's true, it's pretty faded. Yeah, they do um, kind of lean into that slight brown and red, sort of. I mean... Because you see pictures of, like the palace and such, but yeah, I mean there are a lot of opportunities that I just miss. Like you could do some real cool things over at that, you know, Lenin statue that I forgot to show off. But uh, as I as we crash to that window, hey, did you maybe notice something in there? Possibly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> secret a little outline of something. A little collectible for like a f split second. That's because oh. this is the final old school level. Yeah. I the didn't hangar. know this one was in and Russia. Well. I never noticed that. I and, never found that one. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, the guy. The guy yeah. doing the skate thing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm also going to go get the secret tape here. And it's like, you know, you see it there if you do that. And you'll, you know, do that lineup several times. But you'll never be able to reach there. It's like, how do I get up there? And it's actually a pretty long, kind of complicated grind line to get that seriously. I'm going to show that off and fail it, and then I'll show you. If you just want the secret tape as easy as you can, here's what to do. Okay. Yeah. Sort of thing. Gonna be honest, what a fucking lame, like, secret level to end it off on, because that is the last secret level that you unlock, and it's yeah. the hangar. Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't necessarily feel like you need to play them in the order of getting them, so... Mm -hmm. I think, I just think of the Hangar School 2 in Venice as just, you know, a package of the secret levels. But yeah, you do all this shit, you go back and oh. forth, and then I miss oh. that jump there. I miss I the never final knew that jump. Was there. Yeah, yeah. You get all these gaps, it's like, oh my god. Like, real cool. But yeah, you can also, you know, wall jump up and grab onto the railing. Tony Hawk's Pro Parkour. Didn't know that. <sighs> yeah. I feel like I might have known that because I think I did get that secret tape, but I definitely didn't do the grind line for it. Right, yeah, that that was again from one, looking at peop what people have recorded before, two, looking at, you know, lists of the gaps in the game and seeing, okay, yeah, they set this up to have these gaps all in a row to kind of, yeah, tell you about that combo. Now Rodney yeah. Mullins here just kind of vibing here yeah, in the middle yeah. of Russia. Was the he even here for the doesn't demo? Get to him. I, I guess. All the pros are here. It wouldn't yeah. be a um, Everyone post Tony is here. Hawk Pro Skater 3 level yeah. if we didn't have one Flatland section. Tony Hawk's... Uh, By Rodney Mullen. Tony yeah. Hawk's Smash Bros. Ultimate, you know? This was the fifth oh, game in the man. series. Everyone is here. You want job. Hey, look, it's the dude from Jay and Silent Bob. Silent well, Bob, there it, it, uh, two things. One on that thought. One, one previous to that thought, and then one on Canucks thought. Um, the cold doesn't get to Rodney Mullen because he just jumps around. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And then two. Okay, you just mentioned Smash Bros. Ultimate. I asked this privately 
to a group of you guys. I didn't put this out on a video. So, who would win in a fight? Minecraft Steve or Thug One Steve? Minecraft Steve. Because everyone everyone talks about, oh, to, you know, getting Minecraft Steve in Smash Bros. as a joke. But, like, you put Thug One Steve in, he can, like, hit you with his board, you know? Yeah, yeah, but Minecraft Steve has, like, diamond armor. Come on. That's unstoppable. Uh, yeah, uh, Thug One Steve has a skateboard. I mean, okay, but let's be realistic here. Minecraft Steve is not gonna go into a fight without weapons, so he's gonna be bringing his, his diamond stuff into there. Like, he's not going into Smash, you know, right. unequipped. Right. Uh, and yeah. I feel like diamond armor and diamond weapons is just is just better than skateboards. I think he would win. Uh, it have might you be ever pretty seen tough a skateboard? Because this guy can fall from any distance, any height, without dying. That right. is true. Yeah. Yeah, so you never take fall damage. Almost invincible, and he can survive any sort of bail, no matter how deadly it should be. I, uh -huh. I appreciate you So it would definitely this. be quite the fight. I feel like this Steve would have a lot more health than Minecraft Steve, but yeah. I feel like Minecraft yeah. Steve could deal a lot more damage. If you... If you add in some of the features from like Thug 2 or American Wasteland, you can really flesh this out a lot more. Now I was doing this guy because of the, you know, Steve versus Steve joke, but like, think about it. Okay, Thug 2, the freak out system, that's kind of oh. like Lucario's rage system or whatever yeah. it is, where you take yeah, damage and you get stronger. Yeah. And no, that wasn't a cut, it teleported me down to the ground for some reason. Hey there. But Why then like, also, you? you could, you know, pick up ranged weapons, you know, and throw them at people. Uh, so you'd give this guy some ranged options, and yeah, like the aura or something that, you know, he gets stronger after he freaks out after he takes a bunch of damage. Yeah, dude, imagine if one of his attacks was the elbow drop grind. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. Now you get it. <laughs> that would give him, like, forward momentum, and also, yeah. like, elbow drop. Damn! Yeah. Oh, dude, I like one, too. I'm just seeing it in my mind. Remember that there's that one Bailey animation where you fall back and your skateboard flies forward? Like, yeah. imagine if he could do that on, on purpose and, like, yeah. fall back and send the skateboard flying forward like yeah, a and missile launch, for a ranged yeah, like, attack. He just throws something as, like, one projectile, but he has that move where the skateboard is a lot faster, so you can yeah. catch people off guard with it. Or maybe he could have two stances, on skateboard and off skateboard, and you'd have to retrieve the skateboard if you went off. Like, you'd have to press a button to get it back. Yeah. 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 Also, I'm, oh, man, I'm thinking I want to see this. What, I really what would his see. final smash be? His final oh, smash would definitely know. be the freak out. Like, you have to mash X, and the harder that you mash, X, you like you, you fucking swing your board harder and faster and stronger oh, and better. Dang. Yeah, I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the comments or whatever. But thug one Steve. I just like that. Yeah. That's ancient history. We're pros now. Let's put that behind us and put on a good show for the locals. Cool. All right, Eric. Cool. Yeah, and yeah. we get 50,000 points to show how cool we are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eric says, let bygones be bygones. Even we're, though I was pros. the one that was a fucking yeah. dick to you. Yeah, the we're pros, game. so we need to skate. You can't let anything get in the way of that. I feel like needing to skate would be what we have to do because we're pros, not something we do in spite well, of being pros. You could do some work uh, and I could air over you. Well, I mean... Right on. We. we on a little doubles show. You pull off I don't know. Ideas, I'm. <laughs> God. Uh, okay. Well, no. Like, you know, as as mentioned in that dialogue after Vancouver, you know, it's like, what about Tony's Lexus or Eric's house or I might have gotten those backwards, but, you know, our guy wants the Lexus. You know, he wants the house, so, uh, mm -hmm. he, he's gonna bust sick tricks if that's what it takes. You know, I. I, I don't know. I'm trying to set it up so that yeah, when. You know what happens, and this level happens, and you go back to your roots. It's all that shit. Hashtag back to my roots. Yeah, like yeah. that that move right there. He'd launch yeah. the skateboard at him. Yeah. I was thinking that yeah. could be like a taunt because like it would hurt you slightly, but like if the skateboard hits someone, they get like a mild amount of damage or something. No, he doesn't feel damage from. He doesn't feel pain from bales or damage from bales. Well, then so how? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But damn, check that out. I did the insetic over Eric, and that stoked the locals. Just Damn. two guys from Jersey. They're gonna rage tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna see what happens. Game of rage. What's up? Me and Vladimir here are feeling good tonight. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Your license good in Moscow.
Oh, Vlad told me it was okay if we take a test spin. You can't be serious. Oh, man. Bam's gonna be so jealous when he finds out about this. Dude, stop it. Let me out! Man, come on! Eric! When I saw him steal the guard's keys, I knew he was up to something stupid. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. There's $700,000 in damages you're responsible for, no? No! no absolutely not! I mean, not me! This kid doesn't even skate for us anymore! Get the check from the parents! The kid's off the team! You are very oh, lucky your embassy has freed you. Too bad your team has left you here to rot all by yourself, eh? Good luck finding a way home. <laughs> wow, why is this guard such an asshole? Damn. I mean, we did kind of destroy part of the city. We... We, we lost it all. You is know? that it? Huh. Uh, we're kicked off the team. Our hopes and dreams have been ruined. I mean, they even changed the interface. I mean, no, seriously, like, they got rid of, you know, the interface showing you that you're on a team. All we have is, yeah, our board, and we're trying to find a way back home. I somehow remember this cutscene being a lot more dramatic than it was. It seems kind of sudden. Uh, yeah, I mean... Doesn't it? Like, I remember as a kid, this, like, this took me by surprise. What is it expecting that? But watching it back now, I'm like, oh, that was it? I thought there was more that went on. Yeah, but... The <laughs> The cutscenes in this game are definitely like, okay, what needs to happen? What's the story trope that needs to happen? Okay, have that happen. And um, we don't want to keep animating this shit, so finish <laughs> it off. But uh, yeah, fuck you, Eric. These guys were saying it during the cutscene, but I have to mute those, so. It's the ultimate what? betrayal, yeah. Yeah. Our, our main character didn't even have anything to say about it. Uh, it, it well, I, I mean. <laughs> you like Russian women? He, yeah, no, he didn't. Sure. He did. I'd like a one-way ticket to the States even better. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty good. Well, you like Russian car? Me neither. Terrible traction on these icy streets. But I need girls for bosses' party. Oh man, I forgot you this even up? had a car in this well. level. Maybe yeah, and, to get you and I can't skip it. You have to do all of these in this block. You know what's I you know what I think I disliked about this level the most was the car, because this one is one of the most packed. Yeah. Levels in the game. This is you know one of the I mean? best like, levels for like. You can rarely go either yeah. without hitting a ramp or a rail or anything. There's so yeah. little space maneuver. It's yeah, one of the like best when you levels. have to take the car. This mission's a little long, actually. Yeah. You need to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth a bunch of times. But. It was one of the best levels for like actually skating in the game, and they threw a car in there. And it. I mean, they threw a car in all of these. You just sure. killed those people. I just managed to skip them. Like in Vancouver, I deliberately. Did every goal except the two where you needed to ride the leaf blower? Yeah, because yeah. fuck that leaf blower. Fuck that leaf blower <laughs> that, oh my so much. god. When they make you drive the leaf blower across these thin walkways that are barely larger than the blower itself, and if you hit the wall, you just bounce. I got that thing stuck like that joke in Austin Powers 1. I got the leaf blower stuck to where <laughs> I got it sideways and I couldn't back out far enough to turn it at all, and I just had to restart the mission. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that, leaf that one's probably the worst car in the game, next to the um, that other one from uh, New, not New Me was it New Mexico or was it uh, San Diego? San Diego, yeah, because that's one's also from San a small Diego. One. Yeah, the the pottery cart or whatever. Yeah, yeah that one. You had to go really pick bad. up the girls, but they're like, I'm yeah. not riding in that thing unless you bust sick tricks and get fucking, fucking ripped. ripped. And I'm like, oh, uh, you didn't need to tell me to do so. I do, I do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's either, I like how they give you the choice for the most part of either uh, doing the car missions or not. It's like, you know, you you decide, do you have fun or do you not have fun? At, at least, 
everyone involved had the good sense to know never to do that again. And yeah. instead, you know, they replaced them with a bunch of gimmick characters in Thug 2 that are just as hard to control. Like yeah. Jesse James and his fucking hot rod. Who's Jesse James? He was on, like, American Chopper. He was one of the people there. Oh. I think. Okay, but anyways, I guess not to call you guys out, but yeah, as kids... This is all definitely a lot more dramatic. Um, yeah. Like you said, yeah, the cutscene just happens. We know what's going to happen. So it's just like, all right, yeah, Eric's an asshole, but this is very contrived. Whatever, we're kicked off the team now. You know, as kids, it's probably like, yo, know, really hurts. Cements Eric as the worst video game villain ever, and it's a huge detriment. Just like how, you know, driving that car mission right there, it only took a minute, but it, you know, all you guys really remember hating the cars. Whereas here it's just like, okay, well that happened. Let's uh, let's get it over with. Okay, I need to do this. Let's get it over with. So yeah. I guess like, yeah, I, I guess I'm not asking like, oh, was Eric really that bad or something? I guess I'm just pointing out that, yeah, obviously as a kid this is you know more dramatic and and better than looking back on it now. Yeah. You know, also I want to say as a kid, plot wise, plot wise, this is still the oh, best extreme you, sports okay. engine. Yeah. Uh, I also want to say, like, this game is a lot easier than I remember being it for a kid, and before you say I'm playing on normal, I didn't play on expert as a kid. Like, yeah, no, yeah. but this, I remember having so much more trouble in places, and I'm looking back at it now, and I'm like, how did I have trouble with this? I mean, like, we were this seems kids. like one of the easier Tony Hawk games. When we was young, you know? I remember, actually, my first playthrough of this game, back when I was, like, fucking seven, I got stuck uh, spine transferring over the wall. I just never could beat that mission. And I was just kind of like... Back then, my philosophy was, if you unlock the last level of the game, you beat the game. So I just never completed it. Until, like, you know what I'll bet five it years is? later. I'll bet the reason I had so much trouble is I didn't understand how to get my stats up. And uh, so I was yeah. woefully understated for these. Same, yeah, for this probably. later part of the... Because I did beat it eventually, but like I remember having so much issue... And I bet um, that had a lot to do with not having my stats where they should be. Because I didn't even understand what stats did back then. Like, I ignored them for the most part. Yeah, like, there's just... There's so many potential things like that where you just take it for granted. Just, oh, I know how video games work. I know how stats in an extreme sports game work. I need to raise those. Whereas, yeah, it's something where... E they, you know, they can't say everything. They can't explain everything. Sometimes mm -hmm. they just have to leave it as something where, you know, hopefully you'll realize you play better and can do, you know, better as you increase these. Yes. But now but, uh, you're getting money. Anyway, for that goal that I just did, there's something you could do, and, like, the speedruns do this, where you spin and spine transfer, and then you can, like, keep your combo going and go back and spin more in the same combo and have that one count multiple spins. Mm -hmm. I was, like, trying to do that, but I couldn't really figure it out. And as you saw, I was dicking about and actually taking a while, so it's just like, ah, uh, whatever. But yeah, there is some glitch in there if you want to do it. Interesting. Oh, it's this mission. Oh, it's, it's our boy, it's Kalo, our boy. again. I remember this yeah, one this, really well. Actually, this mission you all should look up on sick difficulty, because, yeah, on normal, I need to collect a certain amount of collectibles. But on sick, you need to collect... Quite a few more, and all of these that you get will have a, you know, amusing little message. So, it's like, uh, you know, I enjoyable to, to see the extra effort, because, yeah, it's not just getting more, it does give you those, you know, amusing little things. Now, has anyone tested to see if this will cure a hangover or not? I would like, you know how they have those... Uh, I don't know what they are. I remember there used to be those things where like, who uh, does this or whatever thing in video game? Can you do that in real life? Yeah. I mean, or like uh, that that the one who did like cooking with Zelda or whatever. I I think if you put all of these together, it would first melt the pan, and then if you <laughs> still drink it, it would melt you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't remember what channel it was, but someone was like, "Let me, you know, let's try out." Oh, it was Unraveled. Unraveled. Oh the yeah, one that they tried did that out the, the video games. I want to yeah. see Unraveled do an episode on this one and see if this, uh, <laughs> if this does cure a hangover or not. Yeah, but yeah. well, it's it's just kind of an amusing little touch. It's like vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin Z? Question mark. Yeah, they also yeah, lampshaded how, how, like, they're just kind of putting places and places in these games where they comment on, like, what a weird place to put chicken soup on yeah. top of, like, a building. Yeah. 
Don't let any of the guards see you with it either. I like, there I also like how Kalo is supposed to be, yeah, this big important figure that really helps you out, but, like, you could skip his first mission, you know, you could just avoid doing that one out of the block and then you'd have no idea who he was. I feel yeah. like I might have done that. Yeah, because same. The only Kalo thing I remember is that one. And I do remember being confused about who he was. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought I missed Kalo. a cutscene or something. But, and now we're yeah, alright, so now, it's now Tony Hawk is a stealth game. We have to get across the level without being caught by the guards. We've been given these night vision goggles. Yeah. If the guards see you, you just fail the mission after redo it. Yeah. Oh, is this the second stealth mission? Whoa. Yeah. They kind of warm you up for the stealth earlier in the level, I think. Or I know uh, they do in the the first level of New Jersey. But... Earlier in the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have the one where you have to get the skateboard back. I wouldn't now go everyone... that warming up because that's so long ago. Everyone complains yeah. about this level, but I had zero issues with this when I was a kid. So yeah. I got caught a few times, but once I found the right route. I, yeah, I can do this every time. All I need to do is wait on that one guard that walks by. Like, yeah. once you're here, if you do this, no one will catch you ever. Uh, yeah, it was just like, oh, wow, that guard has a long-ass sight line. He's all the way over there. Just kind of the things where I had to feel it out the first time, but... You are yeah. Going home, but you are welcome back Why do the here? guards want to stop me from leaving anyway? Uh, I thought I was... Kalo free. gave us, like, a bag of something to deliver to Alexander, and I guess it's... Assumed oh, oh, it's oh. illegal or some yeah, shit. Okay, yeah. But yeah. all right, we made it out of Moscow. We're heading back home to New Jersey to collect ourselves and try and find out what to do because our reputation is ruined, our career is ruined. Feels like there's nowhere else to go. Damn. But maybe we just need to do some, you know, simple skating and clear our head. Yeah. We'll see what happens next time on Tony Hawk Underground.